gentlemen, welcome to Grand Arena Championships, where today, under the LED lights of Echo Basement, destinies will be decided. In the blue corner, representing the Black Sun heroes, with a galactic power of 11.6 million, the Radio Free Tattoo Eater, the Wampa Whisperer, the Other Shaw. And in the red corner, from the ranks of Power Forge, wielding a galactic power of 11.3 million, the Dark Side Historian, Malloy. This is Grand Arena Championships, Season 52, Week 1, Round 2. Bo shoot up, fellow Hollow Table Hustlers. How are you doing on this beautiful weekend? We have another 5v5 Grand Arena coming at you. Uh, this is looking like it's going to be a good one. Similar roster. Neither of us have Jedi Knight Cal. Neither of us have Bo. So, like, it's kind of evensies. Um, I ended up winning last round. That felt pretty good. Always like that. Uh I had a just a, a clean sweep, right? And um, they stalled out a couple times and were not able to really get much done. This time, roster's more similar. I beat a 13 million roster in round one. That, I'm not going to lie, that felt pretty good. Round two, I've got someone real close in GP, real close in what they have, what they don't. But... Let's take a look at the numbers because they tell a very different story. What? What? When we look at what each of us did in the last 5v5 week, I put up 5,375 banners, which is good. It's not like amazing, but that's, that's solid. That's really solid. Uh, they put up 97. 97. That translates to an average banners of 32. They only attacked three times. Three total attacks. One of which was a win. Two of which were losses. Defensive holds, I had four to their one. I guess that says something too, right? So even if they're not engaging, the teams that they set don't seem to get a lot of holds. I mean, four is better than one. Four is not a ton, but I'll take it. Win percentage, I mean, it, my 87.5 is a meaningful number. Their 33.3 is its a sample size of three attacks all week. So they just, like, check out sometimes. I have 42 times as many wins okay so I mean I've got them on literally every number here I went two and one they obviously went 0 and three let's see if this week I don't know like are we gonna see a resurgence here or are they just gonna roll over for me I wouldn't mind if they just roll over Let's see. Um, now we log in and see that they've put up 2,000 points. Cross fingers. Okay. And that, that should be okay. Um, let's, uh, let's get that flashy little logo and my scoreboard. There we go. <sighs> Okay, doesn't look like bad teams so far. Let's see what they've set. And, um... Figure out how to beat it. Alright, DC game looks uh, relatively strong. We've got a Rogue One team here. That's easy. We've got... Um... Malgus with Doubt. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, we've got a solid-looking Moff Gideon squad here. It's got a Stormtrooper in there. That's interesting. 
Um, okay, and then Inquisitors, that's your standard array. Is that Doubt as well? Shouldn't really matter. Yeah, it is Doubt. Okay. Um, so not, not terrible, right? I can beat all that. It's no Galactic Legends. Now let's, speaking of Galactic Legends, let's look down here. We've got Lord Vader. That's probably a Doubt Crown too. Okay, yep. Ew. We've got Qui-Gon here. Okay, no no flashy Datacron, just a regular old light side Datacron. Cool. We've got Leia with Captain Han Solo and Rex. Okay, all right. Oh, it's probably that revive business. Let me see. Oh, nope. Cooldown thing for uh, Rex and Drogon. All right, that's beatable. And what else do we have? We have a Ray with a Holdo Cron. With Sortie. Interesting. Okay. I have not fought that. With this Datacron. Um, all right. How are we going to skin this Lothcat? Well, with a game plan, of course. Let me move this to where I can see it. Cool. Um, so let's plan out this bottom sector first. That's the scarier of the two, right? Um, let me make this game plan scene. Ooh, not there. There. Oh, oh, I'm yawning. It's not even noon. I'm yawning. No. Uh, all right, so we are going to have to beat Ray. We're going to have to beat Leia. Uh, Lord Vader. And what else was in there? They probably got a sneaky Jabba in the back. I doubt this guy... Ta oh, it's a Qui-Gon. I don't foresee this dude taking... Um, or dudette. Or duder. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't foresee them keeping Jabba for attack. I think there's going to be a sneaky Jabba in the back, so let's try and hold on to at least a Supreme Leader Kylo to take care of that. Um, Qui-Gon, ideally we're going to use Jedi Master Luke and solo that. Or, oh, he doesn't solo. Does he solo in fives? He might need like Jedi Knight Luke or Hermit Yoda or some something like that. Let's see. Um, defense is Qui Gon Jinn. Yeah, we'll do the the trio. So Jedi Master Luke with Hoda and JKL. Okay. Cool. Um, Lord Vader, I'm pretty sure I'm going to JMK my way through that. Leia, we'll do Bane. Ray, uh, with that, Kron. Ray's a nasty, nasty team. So, um... Do we want to do Malakos there? See, it's this is this is where it's tricky, because last round I fought a Ray team with like, I, if I remember correctly, they had no Datacron, which was nice. Um, now I actually have to like a big boy. Fight a Ray that uh, is going to be a real pain. Um, we could try. I mean, it's it's either Malakos or Starkiller. I feel like Starkiller just doesn't work anymore. So let's try Malakos with Seer, right? Uh, okay. And then up top, we've got Malgus. We're going to use Sith Eternal Emperor on. Uh, 
Uh, we got a Dark Trooper, Moff Gideon, and who else? I feel like my emulator's running a little pokey today. Oh yeah, we got a Reva. That's trayable. Is that a word? Could be. Um, and who else? Oh yeah, uh, Radis. Oh, Radiso. Let's use gas there. That's fairly reliable. Um, anything else to worry about? Uh, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. I gotta see. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what I want to use there. Uh, specifically, I'm gonna build some that they have. Who else is on that? Death Trooper. Death Trooper. Death Trooper. Right there. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, Malgus. That's what I used there. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't remember what my counter was there. Okay, so that's a pretty solid game plan. That leaves us, um, leaves us Leia still for attack. Supreme Leader Kylo for attack. Again, there's likely going to be a Jabba in the back there. We also have uh, Sidious hanging out with his Datacron. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with this, I think. So I guess let's start with, um, uh, let's start, God, I don't like any of this. Um, let me look at Ray. I know this isn't going to have her new Datacron stuff. I just want to look at a couple options because that's my big question mark, right? Ray. Data training, like that. Whoops, did I, yeah, I got it, okay. <sighs> yeah, so Malikos, before the Datacron came out, had a 96% win rate there, um, which ain't bad. Starkiller was only, like what, depending on the build, 60 plus, 60 to 70. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think Malikos is our answer. Okay. I guess let's try that first, right? That's going to be the, uh, most frustrating battle of the, no, 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 no. We don't start with a frustrating battle. We start with an easy win to get hyped up, get ready for action. So we are going to go right back in here and take out some of these easier teams okay we're staying hydrated today drink coffee all week so i can repair myself on the weekend uh that's not really what i do i'm just never hydrated uh okay let's try this sith eternal business here and we are gonna want Oh, a little separatist named Wat Tambor. Oh, crud butts. I set him on defense. Well, that's stinky poo poo. Okay, um, let's double check our work here because could be bad. Uh, let's get real specific. And this is an old Datacron, so old info's still going to be pretty pertinent. Um, I, of course I could use Bane here. I don't want to use Bane here. Uh, I'm just thinking, is it something I can do without Watt? Slicker, sure. I just want to use Sith Eternal Emperor and no Watt. Forty-seven percent is not what you want to see. Uh, this one's pretty resource intense, 
So I don't love that. 68% if I throw Sith Empire Trooper, which I can absolutely do. Uh, using Armorer would get me up to 90%. Uh, 83 if I use Assassin, but I want to use her with Bane. So, <clears throat> uh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's got Assassin in it, too. I don't think I want to use Sidious there. I want to be able to save him. So, uh, let's not use Bane. We're just getting real picky here, aren't we? Now, let's see. I think Armorer and Sith Eternal Emperor, because I don't want to use her either. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get Treya into the mix. That's a separate team that I'm going to need. So, ooh, what's that with Marauder? Huh. Let's try it with Armorer and uh, Sith Empire Trooper and give a real, like, strong Datacron to them as well. Armorer and Sith Empire Trooper. Uh, there he is. Let's give him something significant here. <sighs> if I have something significant, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I uh, I kind of don't. All right, so we're not going to use either of these two because we're going to need them on their kind of designated teams. So what do we have here? Dark side allies, uh, that's a lot of health steal. Recover 2% health and protection. Yep. Offense and health steal. First time each one's defeated. Remaining dark side allies gain 15% offense and 20 speed. I like that. It's only going to trigger once with Sith Empire Trooper being defeated. Um, but not a bad option. Crit avoid, crit damage, dispel, uh, crit chance, resistance potency. No, no. Let's go with this. And I mean, an extra 15% offense and 20 speed for the Sith Eternal Emperor. Hopefully, with a little bit of offense here, a little bit of health steal there, hopefully that's going to be enough. It very well may not. Uh, man, I don't know that I've ever run Armorer with Sith Eternal Emperor. So, let's, uh, let's find out if this works. I assume it's similar to running Watt. You just give the armor to her and or to him and uh, make it happen, Captain. Um, let's link Revan. Malik will taunt soon enough. Yeah, my frame rate seems like bad today. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get some deception started. Let's see who's going when. Um, I think deception's great and all, but let's do that, which doesn't heal because he's got all the debuffs in the world. Oops. Oh, we still got four instances over there. Kick it up to five. I don't know that armor is going to get to do a doggone thing. Oh. All right, so Malgus is going to go and ruin someone's day. Uh, Malik, sorry. And Bastila, I, yeah, I don't think... I don't think I love this. Yep, she's dead, 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 dead. All right, we got to ult, though. Just need to survive. One good turn here. Oh! <sighs> Frustrating. 
fighting. Uh, everybody, everybody hit the old man. We're ability blocked. We're blind. Good. Still ability blocked. Come on. Well, this is not good. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're all going before I go again. My cooldowns will, of course, be absolutely rotten. Oh my god, okay. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Even if I lose. Even if I lose. Those two are gone. And this is an easy cleanup. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, I think... This is probably it. It's the end. Nope, it's not the end. Not yet. Mm. All we need is Malik to do that little drain and I am cooked. Uh, golly. What's happened? Oh. Oh boy. Okay. I'm trying to keep some shocks out there, but I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a stressful first match. And you know, I said, let's have a first match that's nice and easy, easy win. And we got that instead. Yikes. Echo 7, never a doubt. Thank you. I appreciate that that commitment to um, to the, the Tatooine dream. Right? <laughs> mm. Okay. I am really, really glad that that is done. Now, on to the next. We can do... Uh, Treya versus Riva. Let's try that. And let's update our game plan here. We did something and it worked. Let's give ourselves credit. Give ourselves a uh, pat on the back. A high five. A noogie. All that. Uh, where's my Treya team? This is a Reva one, so we want the full, the full squad. Again, we're gonna want something significant here. Jeez, uh, oh Pete, I need some more data crons, you guys. I mean, I have more since this roster lock. Lots of health steal. I like that. I like that. Um, resisted debuff, recover, sure. Let's see what we can do here. Look at these relic levels. I gotta, I gotta put some work. This is like one of my biggest guilty kind of things where I know I need more here. I need more for Treya, more for Nihilus, because they're just squishy little boys and girls. Squishy little sithies. Adam Mat Mata. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the party um oh this is interesting they're only relic five here okay cool that makes me feel 
a little better. Like we got a chance. They do have that doubt cron, so that's, you know, a perfect pronunciation. I, of course, I, uh, <laughs> never a doubt. Uh, let's get some cooldown manipulation happening. Um, you know, it's funny with this team, you always end up death marked. Golly, this is like barely working here. Um, you always end up death marked and it's scary. You have all the debuffs in the world, including death mark, and you just, with that Omicron, you just don't worry about it. One of the best Omicrons in the game, as far as I'm concerned. It's a fine team without it, but it's a Reva killer with it. Oh look, Seven Sister just like accidentally died. Love it when that happens. All right, Big Baldy, I'm coming for you next. If I get a turn, yeah, buddy. Ah! Get a little dispelling on him. Smack him around a little bit. Let's go Super Saiyan, shall we? And let him have it. Mm, yep. Oh my god. What happened there? Ah. Uh, huh. Okay, well. I think I'm still okay, but my goodness gracious. Take out fifth brother, it did. Beautiful. I see you, you're not as stealthy as you think, bud. All right, that puts me, another 58 puts me at 127. If you're just tuning in, my opponent averages, uh, what did we say, like 30 banners or something? So, Probably one. We'll, we'll see. Uh, let's mark that off on the game plan as another win. These are kind of dicey wins, though, aren't they? Like, don't love it. Um, now we've got Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. The plan is to take that out with Malgus. This is Relic 7. Relic 8? Gideon? That I don't see very often. We got a Relic 8 Scout Trooper. Relic 5 on these two. So that's that's a tough one. We'll see. I hope this works. But I am prepared to uh, throw a fit when it doesn't. Oh, I don't think they're saved in here, are they? Nope. They might be on my defense. Yeah, they are. All right, is that the squad? That's the squad. Bastila, that's another little weak spot for me. I wouldn't mind bumping her up a little bit and bumping Gus up a little bit. Oh, we got an ad break? Rude. be back in a moment while we're on ad break.
And welcome back to the program. All right. If you're just joining us, <laughs> we've got Malgus going up against Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. I need to slap a data crown on this. This is not a pretty fight. Um, in fact, it's a downright nasty one. So gain a buff, recover. That doesn't really happen with this team. Tenacity and crit avoidance, though. Resistance and potency. Inflict a debuff. Gain crit chance. Okay. So these guys do inflict a lots of debuffs. Uh, beginning of their turn. Dispel all debuffs on themselves. I. Ugh. It's normally not a great ability, but I think out of what we have, that's the best. Extra crit avoidance and crit damage. Definitely. Uh is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and equip this one. Uh, golly, I just don't like seeing all those eights and seven. And, I'm supposed to have high relics, not my opponent. Come on. All right. Here, a we, a go. Now, <clears throat> let's go right after the big man himself. Slap a little doubt on him, and that means no burn, no burnus protection. <laughs> uh, have a little party here. Cool, a little debuff party. I like that little image for what is it? Uh, insight. It just, it seems cute. Like, he's just thinking some things. He's got some thoughts about this. How things are going. He's got some opinions. Alright, we are surviving. We are not thriving. But we are, in fact, surviving. Uh, you know... I feel like we might as well take an opportunity and pop a, uh, pop an expose here. Did almost nothing cool all right we got ability block that is always worth it against this yahoo all right just a couple big hits i might be able to take this guy out and oh it's on cooldown i thought i had it all right well doing nothing uh let's get the God. okay got a stun i feel like i hmm, i would like to be making more progress than i am making <laughs> okay there's a big hit there's another big hit and here oh Come on, get him. There we go. Okay. Yikes. It's just... It, it's scary. Um... Yeah, get out of here. That trooper's gotta go. Okay. Gideon. See if we can load him up with some debuffs, eh? I think we can auto that. Focus on Gideon while we can. There we go. And now it's just a Stormtrooper. I mean... Uh-oh. I'm sneezy. Springtime in Michigan. There's another 63. That's not even a song. What am I... What am I doing? I'm a fraud. Alright. Um, there's another one down. Tough stuff. Alright, we haven't done anything in the other sector, have we? I don't think so, no. Okay. Well, 
We're going to have to address that soon. I guess we might as well clean this one out. See what ships are back there. Um, gas is pretty doggone reliable here, right? I'm not imagining that. Just making sure I'm not, whoops, rad. Uh, what kind of radis is this? It's like a Biston K2SO, yeah. Oh, whoops, I've still got a, all kinds of weird attack. Uh, factors, there we go. Yeah, gas is going to smoke this. Bad Batch can do it, too. That's interesting. Um, or CLS, but I'm going to go ahead and hit it with gas. That's a counter that I like to see. All right, just a little something. Inflict a debuff, gain crit chance, resistance, and tenacity. Um, I like a little extra crit damage better, so let's do that. It's a really gray day here in Michigan. The family's out doing yard work. I'll be joining them soon, but I said, you know, guys, I would love to. I would really, nothing would make me happier. But I've, I've got to do my my stream, you know. They don't want to get in the way of my dreams. Um, uh, K2SO is so annoying on this build. All right, let's get rid of those exposes. Those that mouse getting goofy oh my god I <laughs> just sometimes man oh I should have had gas assist what am I doing I was thinking it was art trooper where you're assigning the uh, thing you know the turret Okay. Uh, now, who's going to assist? Now, I think Echo should assist. Come on. Come to Papa. Get that. Get that taunting droid out of my face. Thank you. All right. And now, buddy. Get a couple of quick kills. Quick and easy. Gas is uh, gas is interesting because he's one of those teams that's pretty reliable, but often ends up very low banner. Sixty is pretty good for him, I think. Uh, that means your clones survived. You got beat up, but the clones survived. So what's my score now? Because I just cleared a sector. It would be two fifty, but four ninety. Sweet. All right, we see a Levi back there, right? Oh, we got all the big ones, and it's the annoying executor that I always mess up against. All right. Cool. Hey, Darth JJ, how you doing? Uh, we just cleared out one sector. And now we're going down south. What shall we do? All right. Um, let's uh, let's try let's try Bane first. Oh, coming back to the beautiful Mitten State just in time for like a bunch of rain, wind, thunderstorms, tornadoes. Maybe we'll see. Um, let's see here. We want 
Ruth Bean, and we want uh, Sith Assassin. There she is. <laughs> uh, and we got the Bane Cron. Let's see what we can do. This is a, a fun fight. And usually it's a little scary, but it works out. <laughs> it's just too good. It's too good. Oh, boy. Yeah, I hit my Sith Trooper. See if I care. Oh, man. All right. Rex, Drogon, I don't know. Right call might have been to take Drogon out there. I think it was, but... Uh. 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 Ah. I want to turn. Damage immunity, retribution on everyone, you know, whatever. Okay, this is going a little off the rails. I don't like that. Damage immunity here on so much, so much damage immunity. That was that was a real bad turn to use that then, wasn't it? Um. Hey, all right. We're back in business. Give me a turn. Just give me a turn. Um, I just kind of want to take him out of commission first. She's about to ult, though. I probably should have just sealed the deal. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on. I'm not going to pretend like I know what just happened. Oh, God. <laughs> it glitched out for a second. I thought she shot herself. <sighs> ah, come on. Dodge. Dodgy poo. All right. Again with the damage immunity? Come on, man. Good golly. There we go. <sighs> Every single fight has been like that today. It's just non-stop tomfoolery. Um, let's do... Let's, not, let's save Qui-Gon. Just because I, I plan on doing it with Jedi Master Luke, getting some pretty good banners, but that's a galactic legend, and just in case I have some weird cleanup situation, it might be needed somewhere. So let's hold off on that. If we have to, we can try Bad Batch, or even Sidious. I don't know. Sidious might work there. Um, so let's try to do some other things first. We're going to take out Lord Vader. Uh, oh, oh, I do have... Hmm. I've since re-rolled this and gotten this to be a much better Datacron. But for now, I mean, a little bit of ability block and some decent... Yeah, I guess it's health steal, but a little bit of health. We'll try it. Okay. Relic levels. We got eight over here. Seven for Thrawn. Interesting. These two aren't too tanky, so at least we got that going for us. Ought to be able to get through that defense pretty pretty easily. Now, once again, keep in mind, Malloy tends to put up something in the ballpark of 30 points. 
I'm sure it was an isolated incident, but I'm not going to drop it. All right, let's get this over on Cat. Cool. And then yeet that royal guard right into the twin sons. All right. And now clean up some debuffs and start working uh, ninth sister. Yeah, see, Relic 5. He ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. Oh, we're fractured. Oops. Ah, well. It worked. Uh, yep. We want to get rid of Maul as soon as possible. This is where I start talking like this. I get a little nervous. Oh boy. Not a lot of not a lot of help there. Okay. That's good timing. What is with the graphics today? <laughs> what is with today today? There we go. Man. I sleep easier at night knowing the mall is gone. Uh, we're gonna do this to put the shred on him. And then let's just, for funsies, make General Kenobi damage immune. We love that. Get rid of some debuffs. This is gonna be a great score here. And we can just auto now. Goodbye, Lord Vader. Good. Bye. Good afternoon. 62 points against a galactic legend is a little bit sad. The state of Lord Vader. Um, okay, so all we have left is Ray and Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon, I'm not worried about, right? Ray, I'm worried about. So we are going to let's let's look at the the deets on this. Uh, the resistance bonus is 100% tenacity. Ew. Resistance allies can't be defeated until each ally that had 100% health at the start of battle has fallen below 100% at least once. Okay? Keep that in mind. Um, and then refresher on Holdo. 100% max health and max protection. Again, ew. Start of encounter, all resistance allies and Ben Solo gain foresight. When she loses taunt, all of resistance allies and Ben Solo gain foresight for a turn. That's so annoying. But then whenever a resistance ally or Ben Solo loses foresight, she gains 100% bonus protection stacking for one turn. While she has taunt, all other resistance allies and Ben Solo have plus 100% crit avoidance and defense penetration and 100% speed. Or 100 speed. Oh, God. I hate that. Lightside allies are dispelled. At the end of that turn, they gain potency up. What's that mean, dispelled? When their buffs are dispelled, they gain potency up and tenacity up for two turns. This is so stupid. Plus 83% protection? Are you kidding me? This Datacron is stupid. Mm. I use it all the time. I mean, he's got to beat my ray with this same Datacron, so. Ugh. But they've got Sortie where I have, uh, I think, BB-8 on mine. So, all right, we still have Leia, too. But we're going to try to do this with Seer. Yeah. I know, right? That it's that 
extra protection on top of plus four thousand percent whatever Ugh. okay let's let's get our unaligned force users together round up the posse we need seer we need malikos we need star killer we need um cow and a soap or crew. I have the I have the Omicrons on Malikos, not on Seer. Is that needed for fives? I don't know. This is this is my big question mark. Is like this is what I used in three v three was these three, and it worked. But now, in fives, I don't know. I don't know what. I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I for, I always forget about Sears Omicrons. I'm trying to save mine up right now. Not that I have much, but um, for Bo-Katan, because I'm not that far off from unlocking her in the next, you know, couple months, anyways. Um. Jeez. Okay. Datacron wise. Really, anything goes, right? Potency, tenacity, resistance, deflection. Gain a buff, recover some stuff. Uh, let's see. Light side, inflict a debuff. Deal damage to them equal to their max health. Okay, that could be good. I mean, it's they're going to have tenacity up constantly. I didn't know. Does Star Killer is Star Killer a waste in fives? Like, that's what I used in threes against this thing. But, um, I don't know. I mean, the the standard would be what Ahsoka, right, and crew, which is like what I would normally run. Yeah. Oh, it does in threes because it's different in threes, right? Yeah. Paste a Zori team with Holder. Oh, God. So, I mean... <sighs> Maul, I set Maul on defense. So I don't have him. Uh, he's on, he's with Lord Vader on defense. I do, here's, here's what we're working with here. We have Leia, but again, this Holdocron in fives is an unknown factor to me. Yeah. Trick with Holdo is to wait for her to take a turn, then bonus protection goes away. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, like Nest. So. Let, let me, let me go take care of that. I'm going to come back to this. I want to, I want to sit on this for a second. I'm going to take care of this Qui-Gon team. Oops. Jedizers. Oop, not that Yoda. That's not my Yoda. Resistance, tenacity, yeah, sure. <sighs> Man. Nothing too tricky about this one, really. It's a it's a so so datacron. Oh man. I'm just gonna keep Oh man. Ing. Uh let's start with getting rid of all that foresight. And then, why, why am I attacking him? Goodness gracious.
Oh, you don't have to take Qui-Gon out first when you're <laughs> you're a galactic legend. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll be fine. I'm just so used to Order of Operations is you get rid of Qui-Gon. Zori Holdo team. Failed with Starkiller, but then beat it handily with Phoenix. Interesting. Huh. When you think about... And I don't want to think about it, but when you think about all the ways that team can mess you up with um, revives, damage immunity, bonus protection, um, Ray's little Jedi book she gives people, um, it's just, it's daunting. Six eighty three against someone who usually puts up thirty points. That's the good news. The bad news is I either do ships or ray next, and I don't want to do either of those things. So um Okay, she's relic seven too. That's a that's a thick caldo we got right there. Um, let's just let's let's try a standard seer ufu deal. Oh, I doubt they're in here. They might be in my defense tab. Yeah, they are. Cool. Let's see. Um, give him something, something tasty. Inflict a debuff. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. It's, it just seems like it's going to be impossible to debuff him, but you know, uh, what's this? Dispel all debuffs on themselves, which Ahsoka does anyways. Um. This is just a little bit of everything. That deflection could help. Let's try this one. I don't think I have any doubt crimes. Nope. I sure don't. That might be wise to try and save one for attack. Um... I rolled them all. I think all my doubt crowns rolled into Empire faction. So I I set like three different Empire teams on defense and I I think that's probably what is going on there, but <clears throat> probably worth saving for something like this. Okay, so when they inflict a debuff, they gain crit chance. All right, we got a uh ad break. So let's give it a minute. I'll equip that. We're about to go into battle with a team that isn't ready. <clears throat> um, hmm. So we're relic eight. That could be worse. That Relic 7 could be worse. All right, well, we're back in five, four, 
and welcome back to the program. <sighs> We're going to do our best here. We've got a little bit of hope in that Ben doesn't have all his Omicrons. <laughs> At least there's that. Uh, let's just jump in here. Jump in and see what we can do. Okay. Might as well pull this up. There we go. Um, not much you can do, right? She's got everything immunity. She does true damage, though, so... Truly did no damage. Um, we're going to wait for her to take a turn. What's this do? Bonus protection. Yep, I want that. Really just kind of dilly-dallying. Dillying and dallying. Okay. Good god. Alright, let's get a little uh, buff action over here. Oh my goodness. Everyone's immune to everything. This is pretty stupid. Oh. Terrible time to try and do something like that. I could crit her, right? Maybe? To get rid of insight. Oh god. Mmm. Give her something to think about there. Okay. I should have. I should have gone after Sorty. With all that bonus protection, that's just wasted. Okay, but Sorty got dealt with. <clears throat> so I like that. Ray is looking a little little rough over there. Oh, God. Who'd they take out? Crew. Okay. Best case, honestly. Okay. I'm, like, so hesitant to say things are looking okay because things like that happen a lot. Okay. Who's up next? I've got an Ahsoka turn here. Are we going to do anything? Yes, we are. Oh, my God. Oh, she had her ult ready to go. I don't even care if I lose now because I'll clean this up if I have to. Somehow, some way. Ray and Ben have fallen, and it is only a matter of time. Whew. My goodness. Um, what do you say? Let's just auto on Holdo? I mean, unless she drops a taunt. I don't think I'd have any grand strategy that would be better than just using your best move every turn. Ooh, we might, we might just end up taking out Jedi Training Ray with an AoE. I didn't even consider that possibility. Uh, is she stealthed? I don't see a stealth Icon. But I can't select her. Huh. That's weird. Oh, just just keep on holdo, I guess. <sighs> 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That ought to do it. Nope, it did not. That's okay, that's okay, we're fine. <sighs> Time? Oh! No! 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 I needed like another four seconds. That's rude. That's, that's rude. I, I will say, I mentioned that if this takes two battles, I don't care. That's fine. But I kind of care now. Because that was a little insulting. Um, just a Jedi training Ray. I feel like there's got to be some... Like I feel like Night Sisters might even be able to do that, right? All that's left is a wounded Jedi training Ray. Um... Let's let's check here. Cleanups, yes. Members, exact. Lead is dead. Uh, yeah, Night Sisters can do that. I mean, it's got that Datacron, but I don't think that's gonna stop Night Sisters. Let's see here. You and you and you and you. And you. Um, yeah, I'll equip one. I don't mind. One move. Yep. All right. There's 41 plus a cleared sector. Man, if I lose by 15, I, I'm going to be so mad. 15 points lost. Because of less than five seconds needed. Oof. All right, 968. That's fine. Um, whoa, Grievous and Night Sisters, what's up? And Mon Mothma. Okay. Wow. Thank you? Holy smokes. Okay. Yet the ships. What's going on here? You put junk back here. And then you make me deal with those ships? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I mean, look at this silliness. Um... I'm wondering if I can earn back a couple banners here. Let's take her out. There we go. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. So let's say Mon Mothma. Whoops, not as a member, as a lead. What I'm going to do is I'm just setting Mon Mothma, right? Everyone knows Wampa troopers whatever i'm going to set uh supreme leader kylo and see whoops nah not as a member let him as a leader yeah see he can solo 79 percent of the time if you give him a little bit of support You know, maybe I'll throw Hux and First Order Officer in there and I can kind of do like this. Phoenix against Night Sisters? Yeah, I could probably do that. That'd be fun. Um, let me just build this out a little bit. Biggs, Wedge, and of course these two. Just for a little 
more yeah okay cool let's do that let's do supreme leader kylo with these two supporting him uh datacron sure let's give him a st Ooh, we've still got sidious too huh okay uh we'll just do that one really don't need it but you know a little bit of extra helps boy this is uh what a weird match right like some gear 12 night sisters waiting for me oh no uh another turn there Kylo golly that was a good trick try it again 67 nice so it puts me at 10 35 awesome let's try some Phoenix here F -f 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 Phoenix Love it. It's a good band too, Phoenix. I love Phoenix. Um, leave Zeb out? I don't know. I don't think it matters. I, I kind of like Zeb in there, but I forget who you leave out. Chopper? I think. I don't know. Either way. Rex will take care of things. Load it. Okay, we are loaded. And let's start with a little bit of this madness. Oh, I love it. Oh, I didn't even see the taunt. It's hidden back there. Secret taunts. Stun and a whole lot of damage. Okay. There's another one down. Um, there we go. And stay down. Now this ought to do some damage. Oh, not quite enough. All right. Oh, no, it did kill her. She's just hanging out there. And it still lets me target her? This better not do what I'm afraid it's going to do. What is even going on? I don't know, but whatever your dark magic was, it is done. 65 more points puts me at, what, 1090, I think? 1100. Oh my goodness. I put an extra zero in there. That was, uh, that was a nice looking score for a minute. And I guess Leia will beat Grievous. Again, let's... Just out of curiosity, let's look and see if Leia, um, if there's any precedent for Leia doing this, like, real low support. Um, we're going up against GG with a newt. That's the annoying GG, but come on. Yeah, okay. That's what I suspected is uh, the odds of her, Drogon, and R2 taking this sucker out pretty high. All right, so let's load that up. Oh, Radis, get out of there. What are you doing? Uh, let's go with that. And... 
yeah, you always love having. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this isn't going to have data on Sidious. Because Sidious can solo a lot. Uh, I don't think, right? Because that, that Datacon's new, right? Yes, that's in the new set. Uh, I'll just I'll just stick with this. We know this is gonna work. It's stupid OP, and that's how I like it. <clears throat> Anyone have any fun May the Fourth plans? It's coming up. It's like a week, right? Yeah. A week from today. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I might I might finally start the Bad Batch season two. Could happen. Alright. Um Get this train rolling. I always just like to take care of B2 because it's such a pain in the keister. Oh, I didn't realize it had healed. Oh well. Did not matter. Alright. Going to LA. Oaks Angles. Uh we'll do like that. Oh, Phantom Menace 25th. I forgot about that. Oh, that's cool in LA. That's the way to do it. I'll probably, they're playing it around here. I'll probably take the kids. I think that would be really fun. I don't know that they've ever seen... No, I took my son. I'm pretty sure I took my son to see Rise of Skywalker. And... Maybe The Last Jedi? I don't think so. I think it was just Rise of Skywalker that he saw in the theater. Star Wars Night at Disneyland? Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be cool. Like, I mean, I've been to Disney World and Galaxy's Edge, and that, I mean, that's obviously an immersive experience that's, that's cool, but as far as like a Star Wars night, come on. That's going to be awesome. I I love it when there's like our local hockey team will do a Star Wars night and they give out lightsabers with their logo or something. But an actual... Ooh, this Leviathan has a Thai Dorito starting. That's interesting. And Profundity with Big Start. Man, they just like shake it all up a little bit. So Profundity, I'm going to try to get rid of with Leviathan. Uh, yeah, like, I think that's fine. I don't think I'll bring that reinforcement out anyways, but I kind of like the palp mobile better, so. Um, you mentioned, Pabuapa, you mentioned you were watching X-Men 97. Um, and I think, I think we may start that this weekend with the fam. I, um, jazzed about it. We just haven't started it yet. I love, X-Men is, I don't know why. I think it's just like one of the first comic lines that I really, as a kid, just really, I picked up more than one issue. Like I had like one Batman comic and one, whatever. And I got several, um several uh, uh, X-Men comics and then as I got older I had more you know income busing tables or whatever at the time um, I really focused on those comics because I, just, I loved them plus when I was young it was like the uh, oh so my my son is 10 but he he does pretty well with a little more mature stuff. Not like Saw level mature, but you know, um, PG-13 kind of stuff. 
Now my daughter does okay with it, but she's not really interested in X-Men, so. Oh, this is just a, just a beat down over here. So if you were wondering if starting Biggs might be a better option than starting Rebel Y-Wing, I would say it is not. I mean, maybe some of the other counters it trips up, but this is actually much easier than, uh, than most Profundity Fleets that I fight with Leviathan. Okay. Taking out my Sith fighter. I say it's easy, and then, you know, of course the tables are gonna turn. Just go ahead and take control of that there capital ship. We have commandeered your vehicle. That's not, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, that was, that was profundity. I was like, wait, why did I have that move? Is it My stolen profundity. Here we go. 67. Love to see that. 1442. Okay, so we need to take out Leviathan and this. Let's do our Leviathan Chimera battle first. Uh, Chimera. Okay, check the lineup, we're good here, let's party. Speaking of X-Men, I just started, uh, just kind of soft, got back into comics a little with Marvel Unlimited, and I'm reading some of the stories that I've missed over the years since I used to read comics, but kind of quit for the most part in the, I would say early 2000s, early to mid, um, early 2000s, I guess. And uh, I'm reading House of M right now for the first time. And it's so good. And I love it so much. I just did, um, I did Civil War. I think it's 10 a month, I believe. But I did it uh, for our trip to Disney World, so we'd have comics to read on the plane. And, uh... uh ch -ch 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 go. And, uh, yeah, I just really, really liked it so much more than I realized I would. So, we're keeping it. And, um... It doesn't make me smarter. I'm not reading, like, thoughtful books. But, like, before bed, read a little House of M or whatever. Oh, I did Spider-Man Blue, which I had read before, but that's that's just, you know, when you really need to feel bad about everything, Spider-Man Blue is a pretty good read. Really got to pick up the pace here. We got three minutes left, and it takes... About 20 minutes to beat this team. No, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Ah, they got me. Oh, yeah? Take that. Okay, now... Ooh. It's not going great. Oh, I did read some of the Star Wars comics. Um... 
Golly. Okay, uh, any quick wins I can get here? There's. Oh, nope, I'm stuck behind a taunt. Shoot. This is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. I shouldn't have even done that. I knew that was going to blow up. Or I should have known. I just kind of forgot. <sighs> okay, taunt's gone. Can I get a kill? Jeez. Can I get a turn? No. I can't. Oh, well, there's foresight on those two. A little bit of damage to Bomber is the best I can really muster. <laughs> Two points. Uh, that's weak. Malgus being gone, that's that's the only reason I kept the oh <laughs> out of instinct I hit the little red business. Alright, back to it, back to it. Um, what we need to do is we need to beat Executor cleanly, right? Okay, if we beat Executor with Profundity, we have Executor to come in and do what it can do against Leviathan, and then Radis as a last resort, and then Executrix as a laster resort with whatever scraps I have left. But for now, should I select the right? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Um, profundity against Executor. Let's do this. Uh, There they are. We're not trying to be a hero, so we can add bigs in here. Ships are just such a pain in my booty. Uh, yep, okay. This is the one that I always mess up. I hate that. Don't do anything stupid, Sean. Don't do anything stupid. We take out IG-2000, right? With a bit of this. Oh, the dogs are going crazy upstairs. Okay. 2000 is dead. What is happening up there? Uh, start working this, I guess. They're just, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, I guess. Um, I have to take him out next. Okay. Okay. Here comes Houndstooth. Let's clean that. Uh, they got a lot of buffs over there. Let's make it zero instead, or almost zero. Um, turn order, turn order, turn order. It's going to be Razorcrest, that's fine, then Executor, then Falcon's the only other one that goes before. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try taking this guy down a notch. Didn't work, 
Didn't work at all. Cool. Might as well get some defense penetration up. <coughs> yeah, let's keep at it. There's no taunt, so we try to capitalize. And... Okay, we got the shields gone. me yeah it's gonna be a while before old uh houndstooth gets a turn so i think we got it yes indeed slave one coming out thinking it's gonna save the day it's not there go all your buffs i think we can auto that <coughs> Okay, so now we have to take out Leviathan. Uh, it's no small task. You know, I think all the time I think about upgrading that fleet. Grand Inquisitor could be higher relic. Aiden could be higher relic. TIE Fighter Pilot could be higher relic. 15, 18. That's like what Malloy has put up in 2024 so far to date. So, um, okay, so we're looking at a Bomber Dorito Mark VI Interceptor lineup, which is a bit chaotic. Um, but I don't want to say that looks necessarily easy. That just looks weird. So, um, Executor, I think, is our best bet. Hit it as hard as we can. <clears throat> and maybe a little bit of this. So we're going to hopefully take one or two ships out, at least. Um, and then ideally, ideally we just win here, but if we don't, we've still got Radis, and that's what, uh, that's what we get. Well, consider yourself lucky if no one else has Leviathan. I hate fighting Leviathan. I, in Squad Arena, I don't have the mental capacity to use Chimera to climb, and then put in Leviathan for defense, so... Until I get my seven star Leviathan, I'm kind of yeah. I'm I'm mirror matching constantly. And mine is six stars and all of theirs are seven. So it occasionally the RNG shines upon us and we win. But usually not. So Fleet Arena is in a nutshell. Um not my thing. All right, what's the strategy here? Well, I guess see what their opening moves are. Uh, okay, I can select anyone and just swarm them. I'm kind of inclined. I think this is... They're all going to go right after me. And something tells me there will be a taunt involved. I'm just going to go for the interceptor and see how many okay good 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 i wasn't sure if i was going to do seven instances of damage or whatever remove seven stacks but that worked out this is looking great oh boy okay i was worried about nothing that was nothing 51 i could have i could have gone in there naked <laughs> I mean, no reinforcements at all and uh i could have uh could have still won so 1788 it's uh that's i'm i'm happy i'm very happy with that score that was what only two Ray stopped us, 
Leviathan stopped us. If two things are going to stop you, I, I like to think Leviathan usually is pretty counterable, but um, I guess not always, right? So, yeah, we'll see. I'll be back on tomorrow night to do round three. And that, hopefully, Malloy doesn't even attack. <laughs> And that puts me in the finals, where I will be up against... Let's see, who else could it be? Sixilla and Voy. Let's see what... Uh... Oh, no longer in Kyber 1. I am... I am... Uh... I wrote it down somewhere. I am literally two points away from Kyber 1. Two points. I am 36.08. Okay, so let's look at this boy. 12.6 million. Yikes. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't like that. Let's hope it's not boy. Let's hope it's... But six is probably just as bad. Running Ray in Arena. Okay, I see you. 10.2 million. Doesn't have uh, Lord Vader. Boy, that'd be nice, huh? Oh my god. Look at this. This is... This would be a dream come true if I go up against this. I'd love that. Um, yeah, cool. So, good luck, Sixilla. I hope you win. Uh, these two are fighting right now. They must be, right? Because they've got one win apiece. Um, yeah. So I'll be on to take out one of them tomorrow. I don't know who, but thank you all so much for joining the stream today. If you want more live gameplay, do not forget to uh, follow me. Subscribe if you like. Subscribe to Galactic War Report. New episodes every Friday, if I remember. I forgot this last Friday, so it was like Friday mid-morning that it came out. Um, and if you love that, you can always support us on Patreon. We certainly appreciate that. That keeps the lights on and the sand crawlers running. Till next time, may the Force and RNG be with you. <laughs>